The Bible is a fascinating book written by multiple people in a variety of genres. You'll find poetry, narrative, letters, and law. In this video, I want to show you how to use logos to identify literary types, then search for genres across your Bible. First, open the Guides menu and select to open a new passage guide report. When the report appears, type Exodus 19 through 24 into the passage box. This command generates all sorts of information and search results in the sections below, but for this video, I want us to focus on the section labeled Literary Typing. Here we're presented with a list of passages along with their associated genre types. To see more passages and genre types, click the More button at the bottom. You'll quickly notice that a great deal of this text is labeled Casuistic Law. In fact, Exodus 21.1 through 22.16 is entirely made up of this genre type. Then the next section of text is labeled Apodeptic Law. What's nice about this section is that I don't have to remember every genre type in the Bible. That'd be nice, but not necessary. With Logos, I can hover my mouse over the genre type and see it defined in the pop-up window. For example, Exodus 21, 1-10 is labeled Casuistic Law, which consists of law that applies under appropriate conditions. It's also known as Case Law. When I hover my mouse over Law, Apodictic, Logos informs me that this type of law consists of legal requirements that are usually unconditionally true or always applicable. When I hover over the Bible reference, I can see a sample of this type of law. To see a full list of genre types for law, I can click the label and jump to the resource called the Lexham Glossary of Literary Types. This resource lists and defines five types of law in the Bible. Apodictic, Casuistic, which we learned about earlier, as well as Cultic Law, Law Code, and Ritual Law. And you can see that each literary type is defined for us. Now, going back to the passage guide, I want to now use the different law types in the Bible in my Bible search. So first, I need to open up a new search panel by clicking the spyglass at the top of my screen. Then, make sure that I'm set to run a Bible search in all text in all passages using the ESV. Now, if you've used the search tool before, you know how it works, but as a refresher, you can always scroll through the list of search helps in the bottom portion of the screen. For example, for this lesson, I want to run a couple of searches using literary types, which we just reviewed. So first, I want to enter what is called a labeled data search term, which for literary types is called section, because I want to search a specific section of my Bible. Then, I need to enter an angle bracket, followed by a search field, which is literary type, all one word. Then add a space and type law, comma, casuistic. Then close this command with another angle bracket. Then enclose the entire query with curly brackets. So, Make sure your search command matches what you see on my screen, then press Enter to run your search. In my results, Logos has returned 273 verses that match this literary type, starting at Exodus 21.1. What's nice is that I can now click the Graph Results button in the Search toolbar, then select the pie chart from the bottom and see the frequency of this literary type in the Old Testament. Apparently, this literary type shows up most often in the Torah, especially in the book of Deuteronomy. Now I want to return to my search and go one step further with our search query. Imagine that you want to locate every casuistic law that involves a woman. To do this, all we need to do is add the search term woman to the front of our search query, followed by the operator within in all capital letters, then press enter. And just like that, Logos tracks down every casuistic law involving a woman. Now I can make a similar change and find every instance where casuistic law involves an animal. First, replace the term woman with the labeled data called sense, plus the term animal, and enclose this combination with angle brackets, followed by the operator within in all capital letters. Then press enter to run your search. Now I can scan through my results and study every law that mentions an animal. There seem to be a bunch of laws involving oxen, donkeys, sheep, and beasts because these animals were common to the day. The incredible ability to scan literary types for terms, senses, or participants is only possible using Logos. To get started using the world's most powerful Bible software, go to logos.com slash six.